I'm going ahead and get started. So, um, as always, this free crash course is brought to you by LW Pharmacy School. We are super excited, you know, to be here with you all tonight. Um, this is our free crash course for the month of June. So, um, thanks for coming in and thanks for joining. Tonight, where we are going to talk about, and I'm going to share my screen, we're going to jump around and do some things a little different than we've done before in the past. Um, because I really want you all to see some different formulas and how they can really, you know, help you and how to utilize them when you are actually solving for problems. Now, um, what I did build and or create for you all, because I just want you guys to pass and I really want to see you all win. Um, I built this little chart. Now, you will also know too, let me back up a little bit. I also created a um, immune system chart from the last, like the free crash course in April that I just now posted to YouTube. Yeah, and please forgive me. Time has been uh, getting away from me. But anywho, I took that same type of scenario um, and built this particular pharmacy calculations formula chart for you to remember. I feel as though having all the formulas in one place where you can see everything at one time is going to be, um, you know, it's going to be something that's going to help you. Um, and so because of that, I wanted you all to see this all at one place. Remember that you can utilize your chat. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, um, while we are going through, you can use your chat and to uh, answer questions or ask questions. When we get to the other part where we're gonna answer questions, you guys are gonna be one big team. And at the very end, you're going to, um, we're gonna like do some little questions and you guys are gonna get graded as a whole. So you're gonna need your chat to make sure that you all can agree on the same answer prior to me selecting it, okay? All right, so here we go. Um, you can reach us 903-295-5933, extension 101. Um, you can ask for Lindsay or you can just kind of call and get some information. Um, if you want to download this new pharmacy calculations formula chart, I am going to put the link when I upload this. I'm going to put the link the same day, okay? I promise you, you got my word on that one. Uh, also, I'm going to also link how you can be a part of the refresher course. So if you're interested in getting your certification as soon as possible, this is going to be something that is really going to help propel you and get you to that next level where you are not, um, you know, waiting forever to actually get certified. And some people may say, well, I'm not waiting forever. But yeah, it's going to help you kind of get boosted and get, get going right away. Okay, so here we are, formula, or pharmacy calculations formulas. So you are going to notice that I have, like I said, taken the time. I put the temperature convergence here. So um, in your book, you're gonna see, you know, multiple convergence. You're gonna see times where it's going to ask you, you know, what, or it gives you more than one formula, okay? So it'll give you a couple of formulas to use. This is my formula um, that I always choose. It's in your book, depending on what book you have, but it should look something similar to this. To me, this is the easiest way to do it. You will notice that some of these boxes have asterisks, and the ones that have asterisks are going to be the ones that you need to remember. So we got temperature convergence. We have metric, okay? A lot of my friends are struggling with this metrics, um, as well as this household system. At this point, especially if you have been studying for the last two months, you should at this point have temperature convergence memorized, metric system memorized, household system memorized, okay? That should not still be something that you are struggling to remember or something that you are still having a hard time understanding, if that makes sense. Um, concentration in dilution is going to be the next one that we're gonna talk about. This is the, um, 
I just went blank. This is going to be that formula where you do IV times IS initial was the word. I'm like, what is that I stands for? It's initial volume times initial strength equals final volume times final strength. I've given you a formula explanation here. Um, and I tried to put it in the most simplified version that I could. I also gave you an example so you will know where these formulas apply. Same thing, powder volume, final volume minus diluent volume. Um, this is going to be something too that, you know, is going to be a good friend or a good tool for you. Then we have percentages in ratio, weight and weight, weight and volume, volume and volume, so on and so forth. Um, and this is going to be an example of that in how you would use that uh, particular formula if, you know, we needed to do that for any problem. The next one is going to be IV flow rate. IV flow rate. So we have duration of therapy equals the amount of drug to be infused over the flow rate. And then you have the example here, an IV is running at 125 milliliters per hour. How often will you send up a new bag? We know that one liter is um, converted to 1,000 milliliters. One liter is 1,000 milliliters, and then you have the 125 per hour, okay? So here you would have just done 1,000 divided by 25. Um, we're going to keep going. We have drop set in infusion rates. And again, okay, I've done this. I've done the work for you all. All you need to do is really try to memorize this. If you have this book here, this fourth edition book, I want to tell you something. You are going to see that most of your formulas are in chapter four. That's the true story. But if you turn to, to page 202 in chapter five, you're going to then find that powder volume in there. And then you're also going to find the drip flow rates in there as well. Okay, now I want you to pay attention to the fact that this is not in chapter four with the rest of the math. This is in a different chapter. And so that's one of the reasons why I put this together because I've said, okay, my friends need all this information together at once. They don't need things spread out all over the all over the town, all over the world, all over the book. And so I wanted to make sure that when you look, you can go and look in one spot and um, you will find exactly, you know, what it is that you're looking for. Um, again, if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, as well as the ring the bell for the notification so you can be notified every time we post new content, okay? Um, IV piggyback, you're going to also see that here. I have drop set and infusion rates and then how to solve compound formulas. This one right here, we're going to go through this one, um, but before we jump around here, let me look at drop set and infusion rate. So for all my friends who want to work at a hospital, who want to work at a compounding pharmacy, who want to do IV certification classes, who want to be IV certified, um, who really want to make the money in pharmacy, this type of math is what needs to, you are going to really need to be able to shine at um, or really kind of just show them what you're made of because this is actually part of what you're going to do when you're in that particular uh, pharmacy, okay? So the formula is the amount of fluid or milliliters of fluid divided by delivery time multiplied by the drop rate of administration set used over 60 minutes per hour. You are going to remember that one hour has 60 minutes. So if we were looking at two hours, it would be 120 minutes, so on and so forth, right? But this one, we're just looking at per hour. The question says, an IV flow rate is a set of 50 drops per minute. Using a 10 drop set, what is the flow rate in milliliters per hour? Okay. So what we're going to do is we have X mLs equals one mL over 50 drops per minute equals 10 drops per minute, okay? And 
when we do our math and you know we begin to push through here we're going to get x equals five milliliters to bless you stay safe and healthy until we see you next time good night have a good one bye